Hi guys, I wanna welcome you to the webinar. My name is John Dessauer and uh, I am excited and pleased that you're here. You're probably here because you got invited by a member of our team or maybe you found us on the internet, regardless of how you got here. This is gonna be an empowerful uh, point in time for you as a real estate agent and broker. Today, I'm gonna be talking about leads. Leads are the catalyst to closings. Leads are how you make more money. And if you're not getting leads, you're probably not going to be as happy to be a real estate agent as if you're getting consistent leads so you can get consistent closings per month. You make more money. You save on time. A little clarity before I start, let me kind of tell you who I am. Again, my name is John Dessauer. Uh, first of all, I'm just like you. I was once a struggling agent, didn't know where my leads were coming from until I started to implement and think differently than everybody else out there. That's when my life changed, changed financially, and I know yours can as well. And that's when all of the agents that are, are with uh, me or train with me or a part of our brokerage, that's when life changed for them as well. Uh, again, I'm just like you. I started out a struggling agent. Uh, and then got a little success. I originally started as a real estate investor, and some of you may know me from uh, trainings from around the world. I've written four books on the subject of real estate investing and entrepreneurship, but today my continued focus is on being a real estate agent. I'm an agent in four different states. I'm a managing broker in a couple of those. I love to train real estate agents. I love to help people that our licensed agents think a little bit differently so they get different leads in place so they can make more money. After all, that's why you're doing it. And that's what this webinar is all about, uh, to help you make more money, get more leads in place. Again, I love the train. Uh, inside, you know, the recognition that I've gotten, really what I'm after are results. Results are the thing. If you don't have the results, you're not going to be as efficient as you should. After all, a real estate agent is kind of like, you know, a cliche thing today. Did you know that 87% of all people that get your, their real estate license fail? I want you to be the 13%. Before I get into that, let me show you the day in the life of an average typical agent. I wake up, it's a new day, it's new me. Remember that yesterday sucked, if that's even a word that we can use, but it's my webinar, let's use it. Uh, so I'm going to watch some Hustle and Grind TV. I'm going to make some time for some calls today. I'm going to definitely get some appointments in place. A few hours later, no appointments. Let's see what my friends are doing on Facebook. Boom, they get off the phone. They start going through Facebook. A couple of hours pass, uh, you know, and then you start to think, hey, that lady never called me back that wanted to list her house. So you make a few posts on Facebook on how awesome of an agent you are still no appointments. You decide to go to lunch. You know, let's take a long lunch. You deserve it. Um, you know, let's watch some YouTube videos on maybe how to post some ads on Facebook, things like that. Um, you remember you don't have money to do the ads. So you go back to the phones. You get an appointment. You get all excited. You're like, I'm going to make a million dollars on this. And just before the appointment, they cancel on, on you in the last minute. So you're kind of depressed again, but you keep going. You remind yourself it's about the grind and hustle. And, but after all, you know, all of this, you don't really feel like making calls. And you start to think, hey, am I going to have to get a regular job like everybody else? Let's shut it down today. Tomorrow's going to be better. Does that remind you of anybody? I'm telling you, that's what the majority of agents go through. And I'm here to tell you, if you commit to doing something different, you're going to have different results. That's why I'm here. That's what my specialty is. And that's what I help out to all of our agents. The biggest problem with real estate agents today is money, time, emotion, and health. They just don't have it. And I think there's one core cause for that. They simply don't have enough leads coming in. That's the first challenge to many real estate agents and brokers today. They not only don't have enough leads, but uh, they don't have enough quality leads coming in. The second problem to most agents is they don't know how to convert those leads into sales, into closings, getting them from contract to close, even starting before you get them to contract. They don't know how to convert. And that's what we focus on here. That's what we train on. As a matter of fact, these challenges are probably the biggest promoter 
to the 87%, statistically, 87% of people that get their real estate license, they fail. And I don't want that to happen to you. As a matter of fact, I'm not going to let that happen to you. If you just give me a little time with this webinar, I can give you some new ideas that can change that path. And at the end of the webinar, I'm going to give you a couple of opportunities. If you so choose to go forward with them, great. If you don't, that's great too. But take a couple of these nuggets that I'm going to give you at this webinar today, and I know it's going to change your business. Here at my brokerage, we have every agent go through a program called Basecamp. What Basecamp is, it's the program to get them from ground zero to a consistent five to eight closings per month. Let me ask you a question. If you had five to eight closings per month going on right now, would that change your financial life? That's what I thought. Some of you, though, maybe you're already there. My question to you is, why aren't you at 15 to 20 closings a month? Why aren't you at 30 plus closings a month? We'll get to that later. Let's go and focus on Basecamp. Five to eight closings per month. That's what our agents focus on, and that's my specialty in working with agents just like you. So we have all kinds of ways that we do that. As a matter of fact, we have a program that has 43 different ways to bring in your leads. In this particular web, uh, webinar, I want to give you a couple of things to think about, a few of those 43. I don't want to overwhelm you, but these are some great ways to bring in some buyer leads and some seller leads. Before we get into that detail, let me ask you this question. Um, are you using technology today? Some of you are going to say absolutely. Some of you are going to say not really. Either way, we're okay. You see, social media today and the social media platforms today are, are built on this fabulous technology. <laughs> it's not about getting into people's lives and seeing what latest dance is on TikTok or, or uh, Facebook and and seeing that new car that somebody bought or on their vacation, it's about the tech behind that. Most real estate agents and brokers don't use this. So uh, I'm going to kind of give you the what and how, a little bit, a bit of an expanded uh, thought process on how we do that here and how we help our agents to, that, uh, to, to utilize that so they bring in more leads and more quality leads per month. A program not only to build your business, but to maintain the progress along the way. You see, this is how our agents here at my brokerage scale. If you're not doing this, you're probably not going to be as successful. There's three key benefits to using social media tech. Uh, and number one is automation. Automated. Put your business on automated pilot. Picture and imagine leads in your inbox every single day three, four, five going on per week, maybe even per day uh, to be able to uh, take those leads and close them, get them to the closing table. The second thing is steady income. With steady leads and the ability to convert those leads, you're going to have steady income. Do some math. If you take three, uh, sorry, five to eight closings per month consistently times the average sale price in your market times, let's call it 3%, I'm betting that would change the financial lives of most people on this webinar. If you add 6% getting both sides, that would really knock it out of the park. We'll talk about that in a minute. And then finally, building your business. What are you doing to scale right now? You know, with all these things uh, put in place, that is the solution or the prescription, if you will, to really take care of the time, money, emotion, and health challenges that most agents go through. So how can social media be a tool for this? I mean, after all, we're probably using this every day, right? Facebook, LinkedIn, uh, Instagram, TikTok, all this stuff. So let me explain, my friends. Number one, you've got to realize that zero dollars will be made with likes, with smiley faces, with following somebody. Zero dollars. Zero dollars will be made with that. Number two, I want you to think about using it for the tech side. These are smart people that put all these platforms together, relatively smart at least. And they have put tech behind this that does something pretty unique that no one ever thinks of or very few people think of. It's going to give you the ability to find the ideal client. So right now, let's talk about buyers, finding the ideal buyer 
for a property. Um, let, before I give you that detail and that answer, let me ask you this. Why is Mark Zuckerberg, I call him Zucks, I act like he's a friend of mine. He's not, I don't know him, but I'm going to call him Zucks anyway. Why is Zucks, Mark Zuckerberg, so wealthy? Is it because he created Facebook or is it because of what the technology does behind the scenes at Facebook uh, makes him so wealthy? I would argue the latter. You see, it's the stuff behind the scenes. That stuff has everything to do with behaviors. Behaviors. You see, behaviors are predictable. And that, my friends, is the key to you being a real estate agent, using behaviors to get your leads. Nobody, very few people at least, are doing this. And I'm telling you, that's going to separate you from every other agent in your market. Behaviors. Behaviors are not only predictable, but they're tracked and studied by every social media platform. You're probably realizing this when you go and do some web searching, and then all of a sudden the ads for that very thing are popping up uh, on your social media. It's interesting, right? Well, they put in the tech to do that. So let me ask you this. As a real estate agent and broker, why aren't you using behaviors and the tech behind these social media platforms to bring in your leads? If you were, I think you'd see a huge difference. And this is one of the ways that our agents here at Anton get to Basecamp, a consistent five to eight closings per month. So I know my, my, uh, the video of this is kind of in the way of the top. Don't even worry about that. That won't hinder you at all. But let's think about generating buyers first through these behaviors that I keep talking about. Number one, all social media, they're tracking your behaviors. They know if you're an equestrian, if you travel, where you travel to, your children, how many children you have, what type of cars you drive, rural, urban, et cetera. They know your purchases. They know your browsing history. For those of you that think that's a little scary, it is. Uh, for those of you that think that's a little cool to be able to use that same technology for your business, it's very cool. And most agents today aren't using that. It's so one of my uh, reasons that I think that 87% of people that get their license fail, give up, move on to something else is they're not using the tech that I teach you, uh, uh, that I'm teaching you right now, and that I teach all of our agents. These are a few of the 43 different sources of leads that I teach, but I think even these few are going to change your future if you implement them properly. They also know your income level. So one of the things that our agents do is they do this reverse engineering where they find the perfect buyer for their listings or the perfect buyer for the listings that are out there. They're not even yours, but you find the perfect buyer. We, can, uh, we get to understand not only the income level that they have, but we know the average price of the home and the cost of their mortgage payment. And we can target specifically two people in your market that can afford that payment. We don't waste money or time on marketing and Facebook ads, for instance, that go to people that can't afford their house. And so by that, we are much more efficient. We call it target marketing. You might have heard that before. Uh, there's a mentality in the industry as a real estate agent and broker. I've been doing this for 20 years. It's a kind of a sheep mentality. Whatever the hottest thing is now, all of the herd go to goes to. And what I'm telling you today, if you do things a little bit different, you're going to have different results than the herd. Remember, 87% fail, 13% succeed. And I know the secret to get you to the 13%. I stole this little activity from real estate investing. There's a strategy called wholesaling. And in wholesaling, you put a property under contract. And when that property has equity in it, that contract becomes valuable in the marketplace. So some people just, instead of flip the property, they flip the contract and they get paid money for that. Well, there's also a concept called reverse wholesaling. That's where you find the buyer first and then the house. That's what our agents do. You see, we find the buyers first and then find them the perfect house using behaviors that are tracked on social media. We just borrow their technology, that's all. They use it for a specific reason. Now our agents are using it for a specific reason as well. Does this sound interesting? Well, keep following me here. Let me give you a couple of tips on Facebook. 
This thing to the right is one of the ads that we run, one of the many ads that we run. And uh, we basically are having and searching for buyers. That's what we're doing. We have a program called the Unlisted Perfect Home Program that we have our agents run their Facebook ads. We do all the ads for them. All the ads are set there. The agents just needs to put it out there. So we use Facebook social to build the audience and exemplify the agent as the market expert. If you're not doing that right now, that's a tip that you should be doing right now and particularly using video to do it because it's the best thing today that captures attention, even more than pictures today. Use video. That's another little tip. The next one, use Facebook to execute your business plan. If you're at a brokerage right now and you don't have a business plan, you've had your license for a year or a year and a half or two years, and you're not following your business plan, you haven't checked on your business plan, your agent or that you're working with as a sponsor or your broker is not holding you accountable to make this happen, you probably need to think about making a change. You see, number one, you need a plan. Our plan here is called Basecamp. Basecamp is the uh, plateau that's going to give you five to eight closings per month. Think about that. Take the average price of the home in your market that you're working in and just use 3% commission because you're getting half. What would, if you closed on five to eight properties a month, would that change your financial position? Would it do it? My guess it would be yeah. And if you added uh, both sides where you got both sides commission, uh, that would really rocket ship your, your success. So let's not talk about both sides yet. Let's just get back to these ads because I want to show you how we do these and how they make a difference. Here's a couple more tips. Notice on this ad, there's a couple things here. So the ad says at the top, looking for your next home, but tired of looking through the online leftovers. See, I'm painting a problem for them. Use the unlisted perfect home program and then see more. Studies have shown when you put more uh, words at the top there, so it has to continue and it and somebody's looking at that ad, they're gonna wanna click more. That's not where their eye goes first on the ad. Their eye goes first to the house, the beautiful house that's represented in their neighborhood, but it also then goes to the second picture in the right-hand bottom of the screen. We always put the best, uh, sorry, the second best attribute of the house in that lower right-hand picture. For this particular house, it was the backyard and the beautiful pool in the backyard. Studies have shown, because they follow behaviors, they know exactly what ads work. They look at the ad, they look at the picture on the right, they go up and read, looking for your next home, but tired of looking through the online leftovers, use the unlisted perfect home program. See more, click. You see, we know that the person that's looking at this ad, I know exactly where they're going to go. I know what their behavior is, and I know why they're ultimately going to click on our call to action, CTA, down at the bottom there, learn more. If you're not using these ads to bring in leads, buyer leads for your business, you're missing out. This is one of the ways that you're going to get to base camp, again, five to eight closings per month. Studies have also shown that when you put an ad together and you show a garage in the picture of that, along with the second best attribute of the house, your attention improves by the person looking at that ad. Isn't that interesting? This isn't just uh, something that has been put together with Facebook without studying it. We do studies. We do, we do uh, take one ad to another, see which one works better and why. And so we've done all that. We give our agents these ads to run with in their marketplace so they're able to bring in these uh, leads on a consistent basis. Here's another one. People like to be competitive. They like to have that competitive juices flowing. So we add a competitive statement like this right here. Beat out other buyers now, exclamation point. When they see that, they have the fear of missing out. So they're more apt to hit that call to action button. What does that mean with the call to action button? Well, that means that we're collecting data. And we want to take those that data and download it. We want to download it to something, Excel spreadsheet, CSV file. If you don't know this, I'm, that's why I'm here to help. 
we download it to a specific thing. This is our, when we download a, uh, all of our leads, we get information like their name, their email address, and their phone number, and we download it to what? We always download it to one of our email or text marketing systems. And I'm going to show you that in a second. But I want to explain a new feature that Facebook has, has that's going to help you get better information, better data. Number one, we use this form. It's part of Facebook. It's a new feature for them. It auto-populates their information. So when the prospective contact or client says, hey, I want to learn more, I'm going to put in my name. The moment they start typing their name, it auto-populates. The moment they start typing their email address, it auto-populates. Same thing with phone number. That reduces the amount of fake information that you get. So it's really good. Take that information and download it directly into your email marketing or text marketing software. I'm saying email marketing and text marketing because we're using more and more text marketing today than we are email. Email marketing is getting a little bit drowned out. I'm not saying not to use it. I think you need to use a four series email uh, situation from here. By the way, if you don't have them, we have those emails. They're already done but also text. You see, this is where people's attention is today. And a text is uh, known to be about 80% more um, efficient to getting the person to respond or read the text than email today, 80%. That's the stats that we found. Always send a thank you uh, email or text after they give you their information. I'll, uh, you know, There's an exchange of information. You're giving them data about your perfect home program, unlisted perfect home program, and you're getting collecting their, their uh, name, email address, and phone number. So remember, remember, send them a thank you, and also use a privacy policy. Not a lot of people do that. I'm telling you, that's the best, the best practice to do there. Okay, so you might say, well, John, what emails do I send? We give all of our agents this. It's already, it's like a plug and play. Um, this is the perfect email to send for the first time. Here's how it goes. Um, this is the first email that you want to send in a four series email. Okay. And then the text, you want to send a six series text, not every day, right? You don't want to bombard the person. Here's the email. Uh, John, we know that you're looking for a home in the Cedar Lake area. Myself and my team have been searching the local market using technology and a specific technique, marketing technique. Uh, and we have some pretty cool things to share or something pretty cool to share. Our program, the Unlisted Perfect Home Program, is a great way for us to assist you in finding the home of your dreams at possibly below retail market value. Our unique marketing allows us to find your exact property without it being currently listed on the MLS and or Zillow. Hmm. Interesting. That means that we lower the competition for your ideal house. You will be in a fantastic position to get your dream house your family has been wanting without the hassle of traditional purchase. Make it le seem like a problem. We can also help with the financing of your purchasing uh, your dream home. We have lenders that can help whether you have challenge credit or perfect credit. Although most of our home, our buyers in this program come to closing with 3.5% of the purchase price, we actually have a program that will allow a buyer to come in with virtually $0 out of pocket at closing. This service is absolutely no charge to you, and there's no obligation. Interested? That's kind of the flavor and feeling of the email. That's a great way to introduce them to that. The text that you're going to send out, the follow-up text, is going to say this. Hey, John, just checking in to see if you saw my email to you about the program, the Unlisted Perfect Home Program. This is where we can get you access to unlisted homes that are for sale in your area. Interested? Now, we know, by the way, that they're looking for a home, either based on the ad that we have or some of the components that we've put in our ad. Um, one of the components is uh, we can track a behavior in Facebook that is uh, it's, it's likely to move in the next 12 months. That's a behavior. We know this. So uh, we can track that. Again, we're using the tech that was put in by all of these social media people, Instagram, Facebook, 
LinkedIn, so on and so forth. To our advantage as agents, if you're not using this, you're missing out. I'm telling you that. This is, again, just one of the emails. I wanted to show it to you. We provide all of this to our agents, so it's kind of a plug-and-play situation. I did want to tell you this. If you're going to use this um, if you're going to use this strategy in this platform, I would recommend that you send them up. Oh, let me go back that you send them, sorry, a buyer's contract. And if you want, you can screenshot this one on here. I have no problem with that. But send them a buyer's contract. If they said, hey, I'd love to be a part of your program. Boom, get a buyer. This is what it says here. I'll go through a little bit. This is what uh, we will provide you as an agent. Invest in our money. Uh, we're going to be investing our own money and marketing and resources in targeting uh, prospective homeowners in your area that want to sell their home. We pre-screen all the properties to ensure that they are the type of property that are, is actively available for purchase. We'll assist you in finding the best financing program for your needs by shopping rates, points, etc. through our mortgage professional partners. We will provide you with regular updates from our home finding service so you'll be able to follow, be the first to know about listed, unlisted, and our pocket listings that may not be available to the general public. We will arrange a private showing on any listed, unlisted, for sale by owner, new construction, or off-market property that you'd be interested in seeing. Number six, when you find the property you like, we'll assist you with the extensive market research to ensure that we're structuring the right type of offer on the right property. We will prepare, prepare the offer in terms in your best interest. We will present the offer on your behalf and negotiate to the best of our professional trained ability for the best price and terms. Number eight, we will recommend highly competent professionals to you for your due diligence to protect your best interests. This may include legal expertise, home inspections, lenders, appraisals, warranties, etc. And number nine, we will be available to answer any questions you may have. You are never under the obligation to buy a house. And then the backside, what they agree to, this is the protect, prospective buyer, give us a complete and detailed description of the type, style, price, and area of home that fits your needs so that we can begin our extensive marketing campaign. Number two, give, uh, get yourself an RWA status as an approved buyer so that you, we can negotiate a strong offer in case we find the perfect home for yourself. This is a kind of like a pre-approval letter that we can help you with. Notify us of any property that you would like to see and notify others that you're working with, uh, that you're working with us uh, uh, as your exclusive buyer's agent. This agreement automatically expires after 60 days from today's date, unless extended by both parties. And then our fee will be negotiated, uh, of 3% will be negotiated with and paid for by the seller, not you, the buyer, by the seller from the proceeds of the sale. Again, you're not under any obligation to buy. So we, we give this to all of our agents. You should be using something like this, a buyer's contract. Um, you might get some, some objections. I don't want to sign that. We teach you what to do in that case if you get that so you still get uh, the deal. So make sure you're using one of those. Uh, your advantage, if you use the unlisted perfect home program to find and they uh, find a property and they use you to buy a home at 300000 question for you. Here's a quiz. You didn't think you're going to take a quiz today. How much is your commission? Well, I just gave you the answer. It's already on the screen. Uh, it's eighteen thousand dollars, not nine. Some people think nine because you got three percent times three hundred thousand. That's nine thousand. It's actually eighteen thousand dollars. Why? Because you're representing the seller and you're representing the buyer. You get both sides. Now you might think, well, John, isn't there a split? Well, there might be a split at your agency. Uh, at our agency here, we give uh, almost hundred percent commission to our agents. So if you're at an agency where they do a 50-50 split, you're not going to see that as an, an advantage so much. But here at Anton, we give almost a 100% commission. So let me give you now another technique that we use. This is a, one of the highest lead producing. Actually, it's not one. It's the highest lead producing ads that we have. Um, 
Facebook marketplace is free to advertise on. You used, people used to go on Craigslist. I think it's kind of creepy myself. My only personal opinion, my own personal opinion, I, I'm not saying not to use Craigslist. I think it's a little creepy. I think it's a little outdated. That's their thing. Facebook marketplace, folks, is free and it's not as creepy. And this is the best performing ad that we have. You see, this is one of the other ways that we get in leads. Hey, if you want to take this ad and, and screenshot it, go ahead. I don't care. Renting for over $1,200 per month, inbox me your rental amount, and I'll send you three houses that you could own for the same monthly payment in your desired neighborhood. Now watch this. Boop. Regardless of credit, I don't care what your credit is. I'll still send you three. So when people see that, and they see, this is for buyers again. The first one was for buyers. This second strategy is for buyers. When people see that, they're all over it. Not only do we get their name, their email address, and phone number, they go right into our database. We start marketing to them. By the way, if you're not marketing to your clients on an ongoing basis, using email and text marketing, Using a CRM, you're missing the boat. This is the way that our agents get to base camp because not only do they have a business plan, they're all organized and all the systems talk to each other. And we really kind of put it on auto, autopilot. Pilot. Everything's automated here. So regardless of credit, so let me just go back here. Renting for over 1200 bucks per month. Now you might have to change that number based on your market. In, inbox me your rental amount and I'll send you three houses you could own for the same monthly payment in your desired neighborhood, boom, regardless of your credits. I don't care about that. You should see the amount of leads that come in. Did you know also, did you know uh, that most renters really don't know their credit score? And if they do, they really don't know that on Fannie Mae, Freddie Mac, FHA, and other types of lending, you don't need a really great credit score to get a loan. We can help you with that. You know, uh, whatever that credit score is, we can help you. Guess what? If you're not there to be able to qualify today, we can help you with that too. We got a three-month and a six-month plan to be able to get someone in a position, regardless of their credit score, to be able to buy a house. We have team members that help you do that, and they work closely with our agents. This is another one that we use to get buyer leads and buyer leads coming on a consistent basis for this. And unlike Facebook, Facebook marketing place, uh, marketplace is free to advertise on. You should be putting this ad on there right now. So we often track our lead cost and performance. This is by way of uh, Facebook ads, not marketplace. So we really kind of want to understand what is going on here. So I just kind of, I wanted to put a few things in place for you here to really get an idea of what the performance of these ads are that we track. So leads are running about $2.50 per lead. Uh, so about 90 bucks a month in ad spend, three bucks a day is going to get you about 25 to 36 leads per month. Can you imagine that? Are you getting that now? Are you getting 25? the 36 leads per month. If not, make a change. I'm telling you, it's not going to get better by doing nothing. The next thing, better conversion makes leads less expensive. When you get the lead in, if you don't know how to close them, then it's going to be an issue. Make sure that your conversion skills and your skills as a salesperson is high. That's something that all of our agents here at Anton train on. As a matter of fact, we've got a year-long program, but one of it, which is made up of 12 modules. One of the modules, module number five, is all about sales. So I give you the exact scripts to use on the phone. I give you the exact, exact thing to say to a buy, sell, rent lead. Buyers, sellers, and renters. Exactly what to say. Guess what? If you get an objection, I'm going to teach you how to handle that too. If your current brokerage isn't doing this, and regardless if you you know wanted to come to Anton or didn't want to come to Anton, I don't care about that. What I do care about is, as real estate agents, don't underestimate the fact that we're salespeople, and we need to brush up on that skill set. So make sure that you have sales training in place wherever you are. That's something that we really focus on here. And if you're able to get two to three closings out of those 25 to 36 leads per month, 
Think about that. You're on your way to base camp. You're halfway there. So I would encourage you to think about implementing a source for your leads. Now, these leads have been on the buying side. You know, again, using tech to find your buyers. If the home is 450000 how much money do they need to make? A third of whatever the home price is, is what their income needs to be. Did you know that, by the way? So if we've got a house listed at 450000 their income needs to be about 150000 So my ads aren't going to be, they're going to be customized and created in a way so the demographic does not go over $150,000 of income because they're going to be looking at probably a more expensive house. The same is true. I'm not going to have my ads target people that make $80,000 because they can't afford the $450,000 house. Does that make sense, guys? You're going to get ads right into the box. I know you guys have been on the phone and you said, oh my God, how did they know that I was just talking about that? I know because I use tech. And all of our agents here know that uh, and are using that same tech. So again, I would encourage you to use it. Buyer leads are a bit cheaper. They're about two to three bucks. In our last example, about $2.50 per lead. But they're hard, uh, the seller leads are harder to convert. But you can do this same thing with seller. Let's switch the, the, uh, the uh, uh, program here a little bit and talk about how you get sellers and how you get listings with this same type of strategy. Uh, so I gave you a couple strategies on the find the buyer side. Now let's find the sellers. These are a couple of ads that I pulled from the internet that are really good ads. But interestingly enough, you could do this same strategy with um, sellers in your marketplace. How much is your home worth? We have programs that do that. Another just uh, home just sold in your marketplace. I've got the ads all done. I just give them to uh, our agents to use and it's plug and play. So our seller ads and offers generate appointments. Your sole mission on a seller ad that we put in place is just to generate the appointment. It's not to get the listing. All it is is to generate the appointment. That's all it is. So the same thing, they're geared to get the appointment. You want to put a catchy title in such as the ad here to the right, increase the value of your home and follow where the eye is going. The eye on this ad is going to go to the picture first and that main font, increase the value of your home. What do you mean increase the value of your home? I know it's a little bit hard to see there, but the simple approach to getting an additional $10,000 or more from the sale of your property, who wouldn't want $10,000 or more? So learn more. That's our call to action. And again, we capture their information. We're using tech to find our sellers by using these same ads. So here's one that we do. It's a postcard series. We do a lot of postcard uh, campaigns here, but they're targeted. Most people, when they're doing postcard campaigns as a real estate agent or broker, are wasting their money because it's not targeted. They broad blanket, but they don't target. So what we do is we target. We want to buy. Uh, we want to buy a home in your neighborhood. Call me. Matter of fact, screenshot this if you want. But one of the things that we also do is we might even put a picture of their very house on that postcard. Sometimes we use a window envelope campaign that we have a letter go out to the owner of the house, and we fold it in such a way that the picture of their own home is in the window when they get the mail. Who wouldn't open that piece of mail, right? It is a little bit aggressive. Some would think even a little bit creepy. I was talking about Craigslist before. I'm not trying to be creepy. But when we put a picture of the house in there, it automatically generates opening that letter. It's a way that we get noticed. It's how we get attention, just like the phone. Now, I'm stealing this next part. Uh, you see the, the, the next point on there called nuts. I've got a friend that uses this technique and they put almonds in the, um, in the envelope and the picture of their house. When the prospective homeowner or your prospective client as a seller to list the property opens that letter, reads it and sees these nuts. And in the letter, it says, you know, you'd be nuts not to let me sell your home. <laughs> Sometimes they call back, 
just because they're still laughing. And so again, you're doing something different. Remember what I talked about earlier? Are you being, are you going with the herd? Are you doing something a little bit different? Marketing is doing something a little bit different. And that's why we use these techniques. But the other reason why is they work. Um, let me give you another one. I'll, I'll give you another one. And, and so be, please write these down. Please implement these things. So we have probably uh, the best FISBO and expired listing campaigns of any brokerage. And one of the things that we do there, we know that expired listings and FISBOs are one and two for the most profitable types of marketing for, for leads. We know they're the most profitable by far. That's why everybody, when you join an agency, they say, you know, do your expireds, do your FISBOs. The unfortunate thing is they don't do them very effectively. And so if you use this program that we have, it, it kind of puts it on autopilot and it's really, really effective. But let me give you a hint. Even if you're not going to use what we give you, even if, let me give you a hint. One of the things about for sale by owners is tracking down the owner. And we do that by use of Zillow. Did you know that if you go to Zillow, not many people know this, some people do, but they don't use it. They always give the property owner's name typically and phone number right on the ad at the bottom right-hand corner. Most people not even go there. Do you know that's a lead? That's a lead right now. So we call those, and I've got a script to call. You're going to say exactly these words to them. And sometimes you're going to start out and say, hey, listen, I'm a licensed agent, but I'm not calling to list your home. I'm not calling to list your home. You're going to know that, by the way, by use of a couple things. One is days on market. Uh, you're going to go by. If it's over a certain day, you're going to use one script. If it's less than a certain day on market, you use another. But you might start off the conversation with, hey, this is John. I'm with Anton Agency. Um, I'm a real estate agent, but I'm not calling to list your offer, uh, list your house. I'm, I have a buyer that's looking for houses just like yours. Let me ask you this. Before we get started, I don't want to waste your time. If I brought you a buyer, we closed on the house, would you pay me a commission? And so, again, it goes through all these things. But that's not really the, the premise of this. I wanted to give you the hint or the tip, rather, not the hint. That on Zillow, it gives you the property owner and phone number on Fizbo's. So go under for sale, for sale by owner, and look at the bottom right-hand corner. You've got a lead ready to go. These are great leads. You just need to know how to work them. So again, the skills to invest. I went through a couple of uh, techniques we use uh, that we use tech technology for the social media platforms to get our leads in, in both buyers and sellers. Again, this has nothing to do with likes or smiley faces. But uh, uh, the second point is, if you can't convert, it's going to be an issue, right? So make sure you're using a system. I'd love you to use ours because I know ours is the best, but it, use a system to close those leads and make sure you're efficient at them. If you're willing to pay three to five, let's call it five dollars a day, 150 bucks a month, uh, at least two to three fresh new leads daily are going to come in by using some of the techniques. I think that's even a little low, but if you use them and these leads come in, you're going to increase your uh, income that you make. And after all, isn't that why you became a real estate agent in the first place? So just a little review and give me some next steps here. Number one, Create an email text follow-up sequence using some type of CRM email text marketing software. We use one here. We use several here. Uh, our agents do. They know exactly what to send. There's never a question on that. If you're not using one at your brokerage, make sure that you ask about that and you implement one. My other advice is stop paying Trulia, Zillow, Realtor.com. They sell the zip codes to agents. They're basically selling you contact information. They're not selling you leads, okay? Create your own leads, organic leads. This is every Anton agent will tell you this. Organic leads are way more valuable and more efficient and better for you, better performing for you and higher quality than anything that you can get off of those platforms. So spend your money working on your own system here. You can lower your composition by marketing like uh, the ways that we talked about today on this webinar. $5 per day or even $10 per day. 
And some agents are, are really kind of only doing this, putting their hands on on certain days, like Wednesdays and Thursdays. There's, there's science behind the sale. We train on that here. Did you know that the best day to list a property is Sunday, not Friday? Everybody says Friday. It's actually Sunday. Studies have shown the best way to, uh, day to list a property is Sunday. Uh, but also studies have shown, and we do a lot of that training here, studies have shown the best day to contact people is on Wednesdays and Thursdays not Mondays. Most people say Mondays and it's not. But uh, just some tidbits there. Let me ask you this. How would you like to fish? If you're an agent and you're looking for leads, who do you think is going to be more successful? The person on the left or the person on the right? Several lines in the water. I'm hoping you're saying the person on the right. Matter of fact, I'm sensing, I'm feeling that you're all saying that and you're absolutely correct. Why wouldn't you have several marketing lines in the water to bring you cons consistent leads so that you could get consistent closings per month. Think about that. Three to five, sorry, five to eight consistent closings per month. That's what we call base camp here. Would that put yourself in another position? Let me ask you this. If you were talking to um, your younger sister or a niece or a friend and they said, hey, I'm about to get into real estate and I'm thinking about, you know, using um, one lead source, what would you tell them? Would you tell them, hey, that's great? Or would you say, you know, it might be a better idea to put several leads in the water? And why would you tell them that? You got it. Because several lead sources coming to you are always better than just one lead source. So do you fish? Let me ask you that. Fishing lines. What type of leads? Well, we use 43 different type of lead sources. I gave you three or four today that we use. But can you imagine if you had all 43 coming in? Different lead sources like um, Facebook, probate, divorce attorneys. Uh, you know, we use all these things for marketing. Again, we have 43 different lead sources that we not only train on, but we help the agent implement. Question for you, is your brokerage currently helping you with all these different lead sources? Or are you kind of left on your own? Warren Buffett gets praised because he only gets 10 to 12% annually. You know, that's, he gets a lot of praise by that. 10 to 12% of his investments as a return that he gets. Here you can take 20 bucks and have the potential to turn it into a closing for $10,000. Hello? Now, I'm not comparing myself to Warren Buffett. But what I am comparing myself to is, you know, an average agent that comes into the marketplace. I know today after doing this for 20 years, that if you do everything that everybody else is doing, you're probably going to wind up in that 87%. If this is something that your a, your brokerage or your pro, uh, managing broker is not working with you on, it may be time for a change. You know, I believe that if you take different action, you're going to get different results. Many of you are at a crossroads. You've been doing this for a year, two years, 18 months, and you've got one or two closings. You've had a little success. Or maybe you've got uh, to the point where you, you, you don't know what to do, right? You're, you're confused. You have no guidance. Um, change it. We're here to help you if you want. I really believe that most people, uh, it's not about the money. It's ultimately about the time with family and friends. It's about what you can do for other people. Uh, and whatever that purpose is for you, we want to be a part of that. So let me give you an opportunity here before I let you, let you go. Um, Number one, just do something. Whether it's with Anton Agency or not, change what you're doing at your current brokerage. Or if you feel like you're confused, which many people do, or if you feel like you're just not getting anywhere, uh, you're not making any progress, you've been there for a year, a year or two, I would invite you for a change. What we focus on here is, again, something called Basecamp. That's our mission, to get five to eight closings per month. When the agent reaches Basecamp, they go to Basecamp too. In base camp three. This is part of our business plan for all agents coming in, whether they're new or not. And then the second thing is this is our flagship training program, AB Blueprint, Agent Broker Blueprint. This is the vehicle that gets you to base camp. This is a year long program, it's got 12 modules, and this is going to take you all the way through in building your business as an agent. And then uh, so I want to invite you that uh, if you, for some reason, you did not want to come to Anton Agency at this moment, uh, that's okay. Take our training. Help, 
help us help you become a better agent by doing a b blueprint and getting you to your own base camp whatever that is but if you did want to make a change and you did want to put more money in your pocket and more time let me just kind of share with you where we're at we give almost a hundred percent commission we have a small transaction fee on each deal and then we have a 129 per month fee that covers all of your training it covers all of your crm it covers all of your transaction coordination software we provide you with the lead, uh, the uh, Facebook ads and the scripts and everything that you need to run your business. You see, we give you the majority of the money back because we want you to build your business. We're not really interested in how you can build Anton and give us a franchise fee. We don't have any of that. There's no office desk fees and anything like that. This is it. You keep most of your money because you are going to be doing most of the work based on the information and scripts and templates and plan and, and everything else that you're gonna to need to be successful at your business as a real estate agent and broker. So we invite you to the two. We invite you to Anton. We also invite you to our training. Uh, if you've got here by an invite from somebody from our team, make sure you get back to them. They're probably gonna be following up with you. And if you want more information, uh, feel free to follow up with them as well. So you have a choice, my friends. Uh, give us a call, either myself, maybe you touch base with Carlos. And um, uh, we do. We have a great onboarding program. And that we do a training. We do a live training just like this every Tuesday and every Wednesday. Every Tuesday and every Wednesday, we do a, a live training. We want to make sure that you're on there. We spend about an hour. And that's where we go through all of the 12 modules of the program. Uh, so whether it's building your business, branding your business, marketing, sales, uh, we do that every Tuesday. And in closing, I just want to leave you with a couple things. Uh, some people want it to happen. Some people wish it would happen. Others make it happen. That was a quote by Michael Jordan. And what I'm best known for is getting people to the point where they make it happen. So I want to challenge you and I want to encourage you to uh, make your game better and make sure that you're playing like a champion. And we hope that Anton is a part of that. So thank you very much. Uh, good luck with uh, your real estate uh, agent activities and hopefully our paths will cross real soon. Thanks a lot, everyone.